fueling and daily maintenance on tractors and other farm equipment has the potential for serious accidents. Operators should start by checking operators' manuals for specific safety practices. Become familiar with symbols and colors on equipment intended to warn operators of danger points and activities. Red color is associated with danger. It indicates a hazardous situation which, if not heated, can result in death. Orange color is associated with hazardous situations which, if not heated, can result in serious injury or death. Yellow color indicates a hazardous situation which, if not avoided, can result in minor or moderate injury. Read all safety decals on the machine and follow the instructions before starting, operating, refueling, or performing any maintenance on the machine. Remember to keep a first aid kit in each tractor or self-propelled machine. The operator's manual explains which fluids need to be checked daily and how to do the checks. Operator's manuals also include safety tips and describe the location and purpose of all of the gauges and controls as well as other indicators. Knowing where the controls are by memory can allow operators to react more quickly in emergency situations. The operator's manual will also explain the correct safety procedures for refueling tractors and self-propelled farm equipment. Only refuel tractors and farm machinery when the engine is cool and shut off. Never smoke while refueling equipment. If you have to climb a ladder to reach the fuel tank, be particularly careful if the steps are wet or icy. All fuels are flammable, so be careful to minimize activities that could ignite the fuel during the refueling. Avoid overfilling fuel tanks. Any fuel spill should be immediately cleaned up. Tractors and equipment with Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR Emission Reduction Technology, require filling a second fuel tank with diesel exhaust fluid. Check the fluid levels in the engine crankcase, radiator, and transmission daily. Be particularly careful when checking radiator levels because the radiator is pressurized when the engine is hot. Proper tire pressure is important when operating tractors on roads and in working operations. Inflate each tire according to the tire manufacturer's recommendations. Inflation requirements may be located on the outside of the tire around the rim and in the tractor's operator manual. Power hop, also called wheel hop, tire hop, or tractor hop, is a condition of tractors and self-propelled farm equipment bouncing while operated on highways. Power hop is caused by over-inflated tires. Remember to check for cuts, cracks, and bruises in all equipment tires. Check to make sure all headlights, flashers, and brake lights are working correctly, clean, and visible to other drivers. Farm tractors are required to have two forward-facing headlights and a red taillight that burn continuously. The taillight must be visible from 500 feet under normal conditions and mounted on the left rear side of the tractor. Farm tractors and equipment require hazard warning lights or flashers when operating on public roads. White or amber flashers are mounted on the front and red or amber on the rear. These lights must be activated when the vehicle is in operation. Clean, clear windows and clean mirrors are essential for good vision while operating tractors. Take the time to properly adjust the mirrors. Check shields around the engine to make sure they are securely fastened and in good condition. Following safety precautions does take a little more time. But being safe is your number one commodity.